What up, YouTube? Welcome back to Wild Arms. We last left off. We went southeast on our map because of a guardian decreasing in power or whatever. We found this place called Pandemonium. And it turns out that it's the demon's new uh, hideout. We encountered Alizad, and we even encountered Lady Harkin, who turns out turned into Elmina. And Jack knows her for some reason. And then Alizad captured us somehow and put us in jail. However, he did not kill us, nor did he take any of our items and our arms and all that. Because this is a video game and he's an idiot. We have to control Handpan and uh, now we've unlocked all the doors so now everyone's free to do as they please. So this is the last um, separation dungeon we're gonna have in this game. So we're gonna utilize our switching trick to avoid random battles. Eh, this place can be kind of tricky, but it's uh, not too difficult. Hmm, lucky card. Who leaves this stuff in these pots? You can feel its sorrow. We're gonna have to work together here also to like um, unlock certain doors. As you can see, that door is sealed. And as you can see, the crystals. But as you can see also, this door is sealed. So we're gonna have to have one of our other characters help out. Admittedly, I'm not, not quite sure how we're communicating with each other, or, nor how I know exactly how we're working. Yeah, how exactly are we working together, though? It's like, we should all still be separated. We, in, we are in no way in contact with one another, and somehow we all share the same inventory despite being separated. Eh, video game logic. Yeah, secret sign. Really, they could have busted out. Jack Brood Eves has like a freaking rocket launcher. He could easily bust out. Still, could use teleport as we speak to get out of here. Yeah, whatever. Really, what's the point then of even putting this section in if you realize what? I guess just for the sake of having it, right? Hmm. I guess I'll show off. Um, I don't know. Oh. You've seen these guys before, but eh, maybe I can finish them off quickly, quick enough. There's another victim of the demons. Oh yeah, there's a little hole. We went in there with handpan, if I recall. Now, do you really want to eat those carrots and stuff? It has been dead for a while. Uh, better switch it up. And back to Jack. Ah, and there's Rudy. Hey, Rudy! Rudy! Eh, I guess he can't hear us. Oh well, let's uh, free him. Unfortunately, Rudy's a silent protagonist, so he can't talk. Ah. So now, with Cecilia's help, she's trapped. Hmm, I guess I should ask Cecilia reverse it, but now I can't go any further. But now with Rudy's, his um, door is now open. <laughs> Rudy's wondering, huh? What happened? <laughs> All of us, one minute the, the door was sealed, next minute it's open. What? <laughs> I don't know, you could say it's kind of clever in a sense, you know, they have no idea who's helping. I guess they, figure, they must be figuring, ah, Jack and Rudy must be doing it. They just gotta wonder how. Maybe they just put two and two together with the crystal that we saw in the past. I don't know. Oh, door for Rudy. You have to come back here as Rudy to get those chests. All right, Celia is the one who's far behind. We should get her. Still, it is pretty straightforward, but it is a little tricky, especially if you're not, if you don't know this trick. It's going to be kind of difficult. <laughs> wow. 
I'm timing this perfectly, though. Like, Celia just got through that door, and already she's gotten into a place where she needs to be in order to get Ruby out. Ah! So, this is an inter Now, if you go up here... Oh, I am your captor and seer! No one escapes my vision. I punish those who try to escape, and I reward those who are obedient. Now, go back to your cell. Now, you're gonna want to say yes to this. No one leaves here alive. And he just, <laughs> he is pretty, wow, he's really lenient. If you say no, you're gonna have to battle him. And honestly, yeah, if, you could if you want to, but you still need all three of your party, your other two, my party members, they're friends, and well, we don't want to leave them here, right? Plus, he is pretty difficult to fight alone. That is the way out of here, though. So, you know, when we meet up, we're gonna have to go back and confront the demon prophet. Huh. Up here. Ah! <laughs> okay, so up here, right, was the uh, switch. Eh. No dialogue on that switch, huh? Nothing there, okay. Yeah, it's already Rudy's path is already done. So, okay, it was kind of straightforward then. Nothing too difficult about that, now, was there? Jack is done. Uh, leave to Cecilia. Guess I was wrong a bit. It was pretty straightforward. <laughs> Cecilia's pass was the, was the shortest. I assume that because I guess because she's the weakest in terms of health and physical attack and I guess, you know, spells and all. And now we meet up. <laughs> Not even any dialogue saying, hey, your guys are okay. Uh, oh, wow. Huh. That's funny. The switch stopped me. Now, let's go back and, um, you know, bomb that door so we can get that treasure. And eh, for any dungeon ever, you gotta wonder, who put all these treasure chests and stuff here? Just for the heroes to find in these puzzles, which only we can, like, get through. Oh, two crest crafts and an ambrosia. That's, that's cool. Alright, let's go, let's get out of here and resume our hunt for the demons. Even though Alhazad could have killed us, there's really absolutely no reason why he couldn't. We do not, there is no leverage from us that he could possibly get. But I digress. Yeah, so, I mean, again, back to Lady Harkin and Amina, I mean, hmm. Pretty crazy. Jack, how do you know her? I mean, the only people we, I mean, the only one who got away at Arnica Castle was that Garrett fella. And make sure you're all ready. I'm ready. I am your captain see ya. And there's more of you. So you're gonna go back to your cells now? No. Now this guy, he's kind of funny. I like him also, but uh, I like this guy's mod. It's kind of weird, but uh, this guy is kind of a bit funny in terms of how he attacks. It doesn't really change much, but it's just a weird way of him attacking and stuff. Really? Not even you? He seems like a Jeff. Just I love that sight. Jack will be whipped. Hmm. Okay, the sound is a bit weird. Again, the CD and this. That's the vortex bell. Yes, when he says people will be. He says the character's name that he's going to attack. Doesn't change much, but it's kind of uh, funny how that, how that, um, it's kind of funny how that works. Yeah, that's his unique little gimmick thing. He's gonna say, he's gonna say things like, this person will be flamed, this person will be freed, this person will be belted with rocks, this person will be whipped. Oh yeah, and, 
Hellside Masquerade is, um, that's, a, that's just this all-attacking move. Yeah, he doesn't have a name for that, but I guess that's the whole, like, um, little, um, how do I explain it? It's kind of like a gimmick -y detail, I guess? Just for comical purposes, I suppose? This guy is, looks like a jester, <laughs> doesn't he? A little clown. Cecilia will be whipped. And if I'm lucky, maybe he'll do more than just, like, using the Vortex spell. I wonder what this guy's weak to. I don't actually know. Mm, those do a lot of damage, though, so again, you know, be sure to heal when you can. How about we try a Rainbow? Actually, let's try Darkness. Hmm. Alright, I'll try Rainbow next. L, L side masquerade. Ugh. Oh, why I'm so worried about. See if you would fight this with Jack, but if you fought this with Rudy alone, he'd get owned really quick. Rainbow! Uh. Hang on, let's heal first. Oh, I could have used uh, my High Guardian, actually. Oops. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty OP. I'm not, I'm not even using the glitch. Jack will be flamed. Yeah, well, that was a pretty unique uh, animation for it, and a unique um, sound effect. Why couldn't they have done that more? Close to dual cast. I don't know, let's, uh, let's rainbow him now. See if he has a weakness to that. Hmm. Nope. I guess I was wrong about rainbow then, too. Ah, I guess he has no weakness. Ah, he's already dead. I can see the end of this fight. It is... No, not me! <laughs> and he just popped up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of right. He doesn't get an exploding animation, but he is dead. Wow. The lucky... Co wow, this guy. Wow, how generous of this guy. Yeah, he is dead. I don't really get why they did that. Why not just have the exploding... And we're back upstairs now. Just see hands in. And we're back in this room. Alright, so when we return, let's uh, pick up where we left off before we were captured. Hopefully we won't be captured again. <laughs> so see you then.